I am absolutely craving mud crab, so let's go hunt some muddies in the mangroves. another episode so I am absolutely craving mud crab for dinner now I'm just waiting for Molly what we're gonna do is get changed walk the mangroves for a couple of hours and we'll be super happy with even just one muddy or two we're gonna bring it back to the beach and cook it straight away now what are we gonna use to catch these mud crabs <laughs> they're burrowed down in these muddy holes. I absolutely don't recommend you put your arm down there. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I've been lucky enough to not be nipped yet. I would be absolutely <laughs> lying if I said I wasn't terrified. But I love mud crab that much. I'm almost willing to sacrifice at least a pinky. It's scary. I wonder if Molly is gonna have a crab. Right, so we've just gotten to the beach and we're nearly at the mangroves. We're gonna get absolutely smashed by the midges and the mozzies. Molly actually has no idea what she's in for. She's never walked through the mangroves before. Yeah, this is rogue as. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stash our clothes in the bush somewhere after we get changed and then, yeah, we'll get going. It's the middle of the day, so it's so hot as well. <laughs> it's a bad day to be a mud crab. Righto guys, so Mole and I have just got to this little spot where we're gonna get changed over here and we're going to go and walk the mangroves. It's actually such a beautiful day too. We almost went out on the water refishing, uh, but all of the weather apps told us it was gonna be like 15 knots. Uh, and we're looking out there and it's flat as, so what are we gonna do? Cry. We're gonna sue. We're, we're gonna sue all the sea apps. breeze. <laughs> <laughs> we're coming for you. But it'll all be worth it if we catch some mud crabs today. I won't be as mad. Hoping to get at least one or two muddies. So yeah, we'll get changed, head in there and see what we can find. Might also collect some mangrove snails. I'll see if I can find one. They'll make a nice little entree to our mud crab feed tonight if we get any. These little buggers. So I don't think Molly's going to be particularly thrilled to be eating one of these later. Um, I haven't exactly told her that I'm going to be cooking her up some, so stay tuned for that. Oh, that's gross. You want to eat one? That's messed up. I'm going to cook you one. That's gooey. It's no, no worse than an oyster. I hate oysters. I'm actually excited to be taking Molly through the mangroves. It's always exciting showing someone something they haven't done it before. So the mangroves that we're gonna be walking through are actually on the edge of this river. Look how beautiful this is. So I've actually never been in these mangroves for mud crabs. Oi, there's fish in there. So we've just come across a crab already. So this is a good sign. Jump in and grab him, mate. Bloody Molly. Two kilometers back there. Come on, mole dog. There's mud crabs waiting. What are you doing, mate? I haven't seen any holes yet. We're looking around uh, to try and spot any crab holes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we both did it at the same time. <laughs> yeah, so I literally thought that I was going to be getting smashed by mozzies, but it hasn't oh, actually been that bad. Hole. Mate, ah! Oh, there's a crab! <laughs> You're kidding! You're kidding! I was looking down here! Oh, sure, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's dead. Uh, Wait, I'm not sure he's alive. <laughs> but obviously, that's his hole there. Guys, that's what my crab hole looks like. Yeah, so how's that? Old mole dog came across the hole and we just oh, got fell in the hole. <laughs> we just there's another one in there. Stick your hand in and find out. Oh, it's probably his girlfriend. Or yeah, there's probably a Jenny in there. But yeah, we're stoked about that. That's the first guy and it's actually pretty big. So he's not very live, are you? <laughs> or is he? 
Oh, oh mate. Hey, that's big. What do you reckon? That's a big mud crab. <laughs> we want to check if there's any in there. Are you going to put your arm in there? Really? And then what do I do if something grabs it? you probably lose a finger, won't you? You want to learn how to hold him? They can't get you from about that angle. Just grab these two flippers here. Yep. And just hold it like that. <gasps> Don't! <laughs> oh, face. I almost put that to my face! <laughs> They're big claws. Well, they are. He must have just come out of his hole for a bit and we've come and ruined his day. I know, feel bad. <laughs> oh well. <gasps> Look, he's grabbed hold of the... He's grabbed hold of the stick now, I can't get him. Oh. So I've just sat him down for a second and he's latched onto the root there. He really does not want to come with us. And it just goes to show if you do get grabbed or nipped on the finger by a mud crab, that you have no chance in hell of getting it off because that thing is on there so tight. It's... <sighs> he doesn't want to go, does he? He doesn't want to go. He is not letting go. Mate, I kid you not, there's a crab. Yeah, there actually is a crab. Oh, it's got his eyes out. There. Yeah, of who's putting their oh, hand in? Get... Rock, paper, scissors. We've got to get old mate off the root first. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be sick. <laughs> off you go, mate. <laughs> get your elbow right in there. Hey, bud. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is the most stressed I've been in a long time. <laughs> I need pre-workout. <laughs> I've done this a couple of times, um, <laughs> but Molly lost, so she just had a go. Uh, I'm gonna have a go now. He's right at the back. You gotta really shove your hand in. <laughs> go, Jess! <laughs> <Mate>. <laughs> Oh, you're kidding! Yes! That doesn't look like a female. That's weird. <laughs> oh. oh my god! <laughs> that is a buck as well. So that means that buck has probably come from a different area and it's like... He's trying to swim on out here. the hole. <laughs> but how's that, guys? Two crabs at the one hole. Two bucks at the one hole. Um, so he must have been coming to suss out the... So we are absolutely so stoked with that. Right, so we're actually pretty happy with just two crabs. We don't really want to take any more than we need this afternoon. Uh, we're really just looking for something to eat for dinner tonight. So we've got these two muddies and we've also got some coral trout that we caught the other day. Uh, and we might even catch some mangrove snails. What do you Ew. reckon? I might pass on that one. <laughs> so yeah, that's the plan. We'll chuck these muddies in my backpack here and get back to the beach. Let's chuck them straight in. I do have twine in there, um, but to be honest, see if you can just go in. And don't grab onto that. And you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's karma for not, that is karma for not. Get in. Yeah, that'll do. Zip him up. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We're getting attacked by the mozzies. Yeah, so... the mozzies are bad. Yeah, so the mozzies are actually getting really bad right now. So I don't want to be stuffing around with the twine. That's why I just chucked them straight in the backpack. Let's get the hell out of here. What do you reckon? And we'll cook them up. So <laughs> the mangoes are definitely deceiving because back there it looked like it was about 6 p.m. But we're just coming out now into the opening and it, you can clearly see it is still the middle of the day. Molly, have a look at the spider. You actually did jump no, then. No, I didn't. You are... What is that? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that jumped too. I got both the arms. <laughs> she, she didn't you did get jump, me. I promise. She didn't get me. Rolls reverse, coming at ya. Uno <laughs> reverse. <laughs> Uno reverse. <laughs> so guys, I actually don't, don't even recommend. Molly, Molly, <laughs> come here. <laughs> that was a bit of an over exaggeration. But there's another crab hole here. I thought you were going to say there's an actual crab. 
<laughs> no, dead oh. set. Oh, that's huge. Rock, paper, scissors. Ready? Scissors, paper, rock. Who says scissors, paper, rock? It's Who's... rock, paper, scissors. No, it's not. All right. Well, now you guys have to let us know. Now you guys. <laughs> Wait, the film. <laughs> <laughs> what are you even saying? You're not right. Scissors, paper, rock. Scissors, paper, rock. <laughs> In what world do you do that? <laughs> rock, paper, scissors. Scissors, paper. We don't have all day. <laughs> <laughs> Short and sweet. What are we ready? saying? Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, ready? Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. Yeah! <laughs> That's karma. <laughs> you want to play silly games? Win silly prizes. Oh. You know what? I'll I'll let you off this one because we're in a bit of a rush to get back. We are starving <laughs> and we want to cook what we've got and we really don't need any more mud crabs. I'll mark this spot on the GPS and we'll come back. We'll do it another time. Yeah, that works for me. Keen? I'm keen for that. It's on camera now. you got to do it. <laughs> we're out of the mangroves and we're back at our little spot. But what we're going to do now, guys, is head back to where our clothes are stashed. We're going to take those back to the cars and have a bit of a freshen up, get out of these muddy clothes, and then we're going to come right back to the beach and light a fire. All right, guys, so we've made it back down onto the beach and we've found the most beautiful shaded area. It is super windy down on the beach, so we're hoping being back up here a bit kind of protects us from that and doesn't stuff our chances of a fire. Molly's got a nice little neat pile over here going on. I'm off on the hunt for some mangrove snails. It might be Molly's lucky day because I absolutely, for the life of me, cannot find a single mangrove snail. Oh! <laughs> We're gonna take him. Hopefully I can get some more. Literally, right as I said, I couldn't find any. I'm finding a couple. And one more for good luck. If you're looking for mangrove snails, guys, they're just literally on the bases of the mangroves, just clinging to it like that. So we're gonna chuck our crab on now. I reckon those coals are nice and hot. Do you wanna jump? Yes. You can wrap up the coal trout in some foil if you want. So bear with me, guys, because I dropped my microphone in the um, in the mangroves just then, and now it's just completely stopped working. That is perfect. Can cook. What a good job, <laughs> cook. You mean can wrap? <laughs> Since when is wrapping? Look, this is cooking. Since when? Ready? Wait, wait. Wait, do I put it straight on? No. <laughs> <laughs> now Molly was just gonna whack that That's straight on the fire, but we wanna. We want to sit that on the hot coals. Why have I still got my backpack on Dora the Explorer? We want to put that on the coals, so let's... Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Good job. So we'll cook that coal trout for about 10 minutes on each side, uh, and then that should be good to go. Crab is done. Now Molly has gone off to film some stuff, so I think this would be a perfect opportunity to chuck those nails on and offer her a nice <laughs> offer her a nice entree when she gets back. Alright, so just chuck those on like that guys. They just cook in their own water. When you see them bubbling like that, that means they're cooking and how to how to know when they're done. The water will disappear and the edges will kind of detach from the shell. Right guys, so the first one I put in is done. So you can kind of see that the snail has uh, detached from the shell. If you look hard enough, see the edge? That means that's cooked. So now I'm just waiting for the rest. 
Right, so these snails are ready to be washed in the ocean. Um, I just covered them in sand. So I'll do that and then I'll set them up next to the fish and the crab and wait for Molly to get back. Molly's just gotten back finally. Where the hell are you been? I timed it well. I didn't want to cook. Oh, I cooked all the dinner. <laughs> do you like do you like it? How does it look? What, what do you reckon? Oh gross! <laughs> That's gross! So I had to run back to the car and grab a spanner because we could not find a rock around anywhere. Right, so here we have our snail. And there, we have our snail. What do you reckon? You gonna eat it? You first, mate. <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> Molly just asked me if I had a knife for the fish. Oh, we're just gonna gnaw it. Mate, here's what God gave you. Um, Get in there. I reckon I cooked this perfectly. Yeah. That's actually good. Yeah? Mm. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna wrap the video up here. We're getting stuck into the mud crab. That is actually all cooked perfectly. Well done Jasmine. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about the lighting guys. We underestimated the amount of time we would have today. But thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye! <laughs>